Hello fellow Hydros of the Blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm very happy because there is no blue. In fact there is a lot of red because we are painting the skin and stone parts of Hellboy using this tutorial made by Vallejo. Let's get cracking. So as usual I have all the base colors applied for the model that we are going to need. We, in this tutorial, as I said, we are going to start with the skin and uh, right from the start, from the number one step, I'm going to deviate from the tutorial provided uh, as that tutorial is um, written and thought to be used with an airbrush and I don't have an airbrush. The, that tutorial starts doing a base coat of black red and then uh, uses the airbrush to lay a sanitary highlight of flat red but in our in my in my case that won't work that will be a pain in the ass to do so it's if you are not using an airbrush do as I say do a base coat of flat red and then a wash using black red over the parts that are going to be in shadow dilute the, the black red with water and just apply it in the places where you think needed. You don't have to be very aggressive with this uh, because uh, if you see the the tutorial when he does the highlight with the, um, with, the with the flat red he goes over almost all of the all of the black red so we're going to do a very thin wash our wash of uh, black red is now dry. As you can see, it has given a great deal of, of definition to all the muscles and created a, a start for a sanitary highlight. We're going to start now uh, reapplying the base tone. In this case, it's flat red, very thin. As you can see, I'm applying it in the direction I want the light to be. So I start from the dark side and then the brush stroke where I want the light. This is just to redefine, um, repolish all the surfaces. So I have, I don't have the, the red contaminated with the black red where I will, where I will apply the highlights later. So with our flat red now reapplied, you can see the model has gained a lot in brightness again especially in the apps, where I reapplied it in the top parts of, the, of each app. And now we're going to apply the first highlight. And this is a mix of flat red and uh, orange fire. Again, apply this lightly over reinforcing all the areas we applied the flat red previously. Keep doing this all around the model. Apply it when you think light would catch. In this case, as you can see, I'm doing it the top of the muscles, top of the knees. With that highlight done, uh, we will now into the next step of the guide, and that is to add a um, sunny skin tone into the previous mix and start highlighting the model. Um, the, the quantity, I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't specify, just say add a sunny skin tone, so I made a more or less 50-50 mix of skin tone and the previous mix. But again, um, painting the style of, of Angel is very different to mine. He just does a lot of mixes in the moment, adds a bit of this, a bit of that, keeps adding and changing.
So I uh, just applied that highlight and the MV tutorial ends there, but I want to push it a bit more, add an even more sunny skin tone and applying a very, very small last highlight. We now have the highlights of the skin completed and we will start doing all the stone parts. For this, um, the guide says to mix a 50-50 mix of uh, black, red and sunny skin tone. But I will mix a little bit of flat red and just do a very rough highlight, kind of stippling. By the way, um, I forgot to mention the the bone the stone parts were base coated with a 50-50 mix of black red and flat red. Don't be scared, just do this. As you can see, I'm not even trying to do it. Trying to blend it, it's not the point. Even if you do it a, um, a dry brush, it would be good as well. In fact, just for you to see, I'm going to do a dry brush. As you can see, this slight dry brush has helped us, gave us a guideline we can use to finish highlighting all the stone part. So we have our first sketch of highlights on the stone part, and now we're going to uh, shade it using a wash made with uh, black and flat red. Just dilute the paint with water, nothing else is used here, and apply it in all the joints, in all the parts with one stone part meets the other. The shading on the stone parts is now finished, and while I was at it, I added a bit of that uh, mix into his, into his side sockets, and define the mouth with it. And now, keep working on the stone parts. We're going to up the hue a bit with a glaze of flat red. This is just to bring up the color a bit more because it's a bit too muted. The glaze of flat red is now dry and now we will reinforce the highlights again uh, with our previous mix. Now we have that highlights reapplied a bit and now I mix a bit more, even more sunny skin tone into the mix and just do a bit of stippling in the most raised areas, reinforcing all the parts that you think 
need a bit more contrast would catch more light so with that last step the stone on the skin is finished and but I will do one extra because um, he doesn't show how to paint the eyes but I will just uh, take a bit of deck tan and let me see if I can do this on camera just it's easier if you paint the line so put the model sideways just paint a small line there and again put the model sideways and paint another line there I've messed it up a bit in this side so I'm going to pick up a little bit Let's see if I can show it to you it's a bit of flat of black red and so don't be afraid if you mess up you have all the colors on your palette just pick up the color that is around it and correct it and with that last step, Hellboy's skin and stone fist and horns is finished. As always, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you on the second part. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.